And now this. The CBS2 investigators obtained body camera video showing the terrifying moments Chicago police confronted two innocent teens. The officers didn't have a warrant. And yeah, neither teen was the person they were searching for. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini documents what else hours of footage reveal about that night. We're in uh, apartment 3D. It was right before Christmas. Through the years, Christmas Eve was a special night for Quarnita James and her two sons. Everybody was happy. Always a beautifully decorated tree and lots of photos of Christmas sweaters, funny hats, and hugs for as long as 16-year-old Jalen and 13-year-old Lazaric can remember. But there's one Christmas Eve the family wants to forget. It makes me sad uh, that they even had to go through something like that. It was 8 p.m., December 24th, 2019. She says her teens had never been in trouble before, but suddenly found police beating on their door. Okay, listen, at some point, this door is going to be broken open, and you will be dragged out. Jalen, her oldest son, opened it and was greeted by police with handguns. The gun is aimed at his head when police wrongly target him as they barge into their apartment without a warrant. It happened so fast. I just remember opening the door and then being in handcuffs on the ground in the hallway. This is my second. Get down, get down. As scared as Jalen was, he was more afraid for someone else. Terrified of what officers might do. Do you have a gun? No, stop! Come on! Get out of your knees! At gunpoint, they order Lazaric, who is just a seventh grader at the time, to the floor. What are you feeling at that moment? Honestly, I was scared because I was like, okay, anything could happen at this moment. Do you think you might have been killed that night? I very easily could have been killed that night. And that was Dave Savini. What you just watched is only a small portion of the 20 minutes of terror the boys endured. Chicago police declined to comment, citing an ongoing investigation. Coming up at 10, what else the body camera footage shows revealing bad policing that led to the chaotic encounter. That's tonight, only on CBS2 News at 10.